Okay, welcome to One Mean Cups, you guys. And I'm gonna let Sarah take over from here. Sarah, take it away. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm gonna just share my screen. Hello. Um, can I please share my screen? Yeah, I think you can share now. Perfect, got it. Um, can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, perfect. So hi everyone, we are One Million Cups Fort Worth and we are caffeinating entrepreneurs nationwide every Wednesday. Um, our lead organizers are of course, Labord Colbert, uh, Angela Burns, who's all, also on this call and I am Sarah Arora currently interning at Labord. So One Million Cups is brought to you by the Kaufman Foundation. The Kaufman Foundation works with communities in entrepreneurship and education to increase opportunities that allow people to learn, to take risks, and to own their success. So here our mission of One Million Cups is to lower the barrier of access to education, resources, and connection for all different types of new and aspiring entrepreneurs throughout the United States. We work towards this mission through creating a consistent educational experience for each one million cups present nationwide, while also highlighting the uniqueness and value proposition in each local startup community. So these are some of our communities. Uh, some of them are hybrid, virtual, some are in person. So I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry Sarah. One thing I would add, excuse me, is that we have these communities around the USA. So if people present to our community before we're a chapter, which is you know, one of the best, you know, no shade to others. But if you want to present to the Fort Worth chapter, we also encourage you to present to the other chapters as well. So that way you get the experience of presenting your business, you become more confident in your presentation, but you're getting different types of feedback from different groups and that will help you to build your business. Yes. And here at One Million Cups, our key pillars are that these are presentations, these are not pitches. Mm -hmm. Here we foster authentic connections, not networking. We run for the community and by the community, and we are radically and intentionally in inclusive. So our core program consists of uh, weekly uh, meetings and Wednesday mornings. We usually have two presenters with six minute presentations some use a deck, some don't. And we have 20 minutes for question and answers. Um, we are presenting businesses that are less than five years old that are desiring to learn. And we make sure to finish each Q&A with the question, what can we as a community do to help you? So always feel free and open to the public. And we are here with free coffee while it's in person, always. Beautiful, Sarah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And we want to make sure you guys know how to reach us again on Instagram and also Facebook. And the beauty of our presentations is that they're usually streamed live. And then um, if for any reason they're not streamed live, then we will post it on our Facebook page so that when everyone has a chance to benefit from um, our wonderful team and our tribe of entrepreneurs here. And then also you can check the mobile app. Um, and because we are now post COVID, we do have a hybrid meeting. So you can also, you can be in person at the Forward Business Center, or you can also meet virtually um, because we will have the hybrid solution. Um, so um, again, for each presentation, we give them six minutes to present and then a 20 minute Q&A session so that we can ask questions about the business, get clarification, and just be able to give the input that um, the prisoner needs to help, them to help them with their business problem. Um, any other questions or comments? Okay, so um, today, before we go to our presenter, which is Lebeau, and she's gonna present um, her company a business that she's working with, Forever Graphics. Do we have any announcements, Sarah? Yes, we actually do have. I'm just gonna pull it up. Thank you. Um, can you see it? Not yet, not yet. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and speak to the announcement while she's pulling that up. 
So um, there's a new series that's starting July the 30th from 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. And it's called Business Basics for Business Owners. And Dr. K. Cooley, um, or Coley, Dr. Dr. K. Coley, who is the Assistant Professor of Mass Communications at Texas Wesley University, um, is going to share with us some, uh, some topics. And there will be um, Q&A about social media. And this is basically about how to establish and maintain your social media presence. Um, and this is going to be held at DFW Accelerate in Fort Worth. So if, um, Sarah, if you want to post that in the chat, if you can, and that way yes, you guys can have information. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, and we will give it, we will give everyone a chance to add any other community announcements at the end. Uh, but we want to make sure we're, we're tracking to time accordingly. Um, LeBeau, are you ready to present Forever Graphics? Hi, great job, everybody. So I am ready to present, but I have, we have in our presence, Alan Crowley, a uh, woman cups uh, veteran, and he brought donuts this morning. So he gets five minutes on the floor. Yay, donuts. Yay. Okay, Alan, if you like, you can sit down or you can stand up just, uh, okay, perfect. All right, there you go. She like all face these guys. Yeah. Hey, good morning, everyone out there. I'm usually on the virtual end of these hybrid meetings, so I, I appreciate that. Um, but I really like getting face to face and getting donuts because that's kind of what where I started with One Million Cups. Um, I'm just going to briefly share my story. Um, a lot of you already know it. You know, I started out uh, in high school here in Fort Worth, Texas, and joined the National Guard because. Uh, um, I wanted to be a part-time soldier and also work full-time because at the time the threat was the Soviet Union and we want to make capitalism work and all that jazz. So, uh, uh, you know, 32 years later, I retired from active duty uh, as a soldier and got back into uh, uh, the business world uh, full-time. So I've spent the last decade or so um, spending my time and money to learn a lot of lessons about the business world. And uh, I'm, can turn this around now and start uh, educating people. So um, got a special offer just for friends of LeBeau and 1 million cup folks. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I offer a teaching program uh, course about, uh, it's a 10 week course. Um, and it's for people who want to build a community around their product uh, or service or idea can be an idea too, um, that I call citizen entrepreneur. So I've gone from citizen soldier to citizen entrepreneur, and I'm gonna take that kind of help help people. I'm looking for five people basically uh, for the next cohort that'll start up in uh, September, uh, end of August, September, um, to join me in working on your business and uh, helping you grow it from, from where you are now. Maybe you've got a side hustle, you want to kick your day job to the side and start making that your real business. That's uh, that's the people I'm looking for who want to put the effort in there. Um, anyway, you can reach out to me. I'm, I'm on social media, et cetera, and I'm I only plan for two minutes, so I'm going to turn it back over to LeBeau. Oh, thank you all. All right, thank you, Ellen, and thank you for the wonderful Definitely take Alan up on his offer. I always, when I talk about Alan Crowley, I talk about how he sticks with people. He really will ride, he's a ride or die person. <laughs> he'll keep, he keep, as long as you want to keep going, he'll keep going. And so that's the, you, this is what One Million Cups is about. When we say that line, we want to foster real connections and not just networking. That is what it's about. He embodies that, okay? It's about the community, right? Because all of us, we, you know, sometimes it's lonely in, as an entrepreneur. You know, your friends and family, they don't get it. They're not trying to be entrepreneurs. And we need somebody that's just gonna say, that's gonna check up on us and hold us accountable maybe and say, I'll go with you to this networking event. That's, that's what I'm talking about. So, Okay, perfect. Okay, Jeanette, she has her hands hand raised. Go ahead. I am excited. I'm sorry. Go 
Okay, I'm sorry, I keep getting, I guess someone has their mic open. I would love more information about the cold heart. I'm excited. I do believe you and I had that conversation last week and I just, I can't be there today because I, I, like I shared with you uh, prior to starting, uh, I want me uh, presentation before this one. one that I join each and every week and another one for Colorado. I am so excited. This has been an amazing platform. Um, thank you, but I would love the information for the cohort. All right, perfect. So uh, I can get Alan's information to you. Okay, perfect. Great. Good connection. Okay. So um, the other day I posted in the One Million Cups group and I wanted to ask you all, uh, what do you consider, how long is a startup a startup? I don't have an answer to this. This is just, you know, me asking a question. How long, how, how long can we struggle along and say, well, I'm a startup, so give me a break. <laughs> Some, a lot of people are saying three years. Somebody said five. Some said, uh, uh, you know, before you go public. What do you think? You know what, to me, I think it's like um, the mentality of a business owner, because I mean, you can start up for so long and just be like, okay, really? But the question is, it's not about, it's about your drive to me. So even though you've been in the business for, let's say, three or four years, I feel like you know, forget what society says. So society may say that you're a startup until you reach a million dollars. Okay, so what does that mean? That if I don't ever get a million dollars in my business for 20 years, I'm still a startup? No, my mentality is not that. My mentality is that, yes, I may be a beginning stage of the business, but as long as I'm hustling, grinding, and giving it my all, I'm beyond a startup, you know, at a year or so. So I think it depends on the mentality of that business owner and the expectations that you put on yourself versus what society defines you to be. That's just my opinion. Because for, for most of the start, most of the entrepreneurs that we see on a regular basis and are in the game and struggling like we are, they may not see a million dollars in terms of seed money ever. And that's just the reality of it. But I don't think that they should confine themselves as a startup for the rest of their, um, their business life. That's crazy. That's madness. Yeah. I think I, I call myself a startup whenever it's convenient for me. So <laughs> if somebody is like, yeah, but we're still a startup. So, you know, yeah. Anybody else have any insights? Um, Alan said it may be uh, revenue, you know, about revenue, how much revenue you're generating. Um, systems and processes, he said. Anybody else? Um, any opinions on how long can you say you're a startup? I don't know the answer to that. I think it's debatable. Bill says, what, what do you say, Bill? I always have an opinion. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, I agree 100% with Angela. I think it's a mentality. And the issue is with the startup, you have less processes and less people. But a lot of the large companies from Google to Amazon to uh, Microsoft, they have small groups, which fosters innovation and a startup mentality. And I think it's important as an entrepreneur to keep that mentality and make sure that you're continuing to innovate and push against the status quo and all those processes that destroy innovation. So I believe regardless of the size, be it or length, I mean, Netflix, you should read some books about uh, Netflix or, or Starbucks or any of those large companies that are constantly innovating and they still have that startup mentality. So I think forever. You know what, you you hit on a good point there. Is a startup, is that a, a bad word? Is, should we feel like embarrassed to say work? Because he's absolutely right. The startup mentality, like continuing to change and always adding new layers, new services, new different things, line extension, all of that. Most companies, Facebook, I know for a fact is like that. They continue to stay startup mentality. So maybe it's a good thing to keep the mentality of a startup person, if you mean being innovative, right? 
Because there's a lot of businesses that are small businesses, but they are, and they've been in the business for a long time, but they, they're not innovative anymore. Well, if that's the case, everybody in corporate America and those brands will continue to be startup. I think that's just something that a lot of businesses define so they can have access to resources. And I think, again, it goes back to mentality, because if you're a business and you've made a million dollars, whether you made a dollar or a million dollars, if you're still figuring out how to make your business better, that's still a part of innovation and it's still a part of growth. But the question is, like you mentioned before, sometimes you use startup when it's convenient. And I've worked with some startups and it's convenient for them to say, well, we don't have a process in place because we're a startup. No, that's not the reason. You don't have a process in place because you don't want to have process in place because you don't want to hold yourself accountable. So again, it, it's, it's driven by that business owner and the business will run how the business owner runs. Because the business, the business inherits that personality of the business owner. And if the business owner is either not connect, not um, organized, or you know may not have any discipline, or may not have any accountability, then that business is going to run like that, and it will continue to be in startup mode, and be scrappy in terms of not having any discipline because of that. But if you're a driver and you wanting your business to grow, you start putting processes in places, you put your marketing in places, but you realize, hey. I'm not at the final destination yet, but I'm still going. You're not a startup in my mind. You are in growth mode in, in my mind. But again, you have to think about the industry and what they define as a startup growth and um, you know a maximized business. But you don't necessarily have to follow that. It depend, depends on what you have in your heart. And, and Lebeau, you talked about the selling like a lion. <laughs> Sometimes you got to run your business like a lion too. <laughs> yeah. I love when she said uh, the business takes on the personality of the business owner. That is like a whole podcast. That is a that is a really good topic to touch on it. And Bill is just like, well, you know, like he was in his face. It's just like, but um, yeah, I mean that accountability. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so yeah, in fact, that's one of the themes that we'll be talking about later on today. But I'll go ahead and get my presentation out of the way. And if you wanna look at what the slides that I'm sharing, I'll, I'll maybe I'll turn, turn the computer around. Um, but if you can still join on like Micah, he's on and um, that way he can see what, what is actually being shared. So I will share my screen. You guys can see my screen? No? Okay. Yes. Okay, you can see it. Oh, Alan, of course you can. Because um, <clears throat> I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been sharing my screen without knowing I'm not really sharing it. Okay. All right, let's see if this will work. All right, so today, somebody put six minutes on the clock. Let's see if I can make it. Sarah, can you time her? I think yes, that's so I can tell All right, perfect. All right, today I'm going to be talking about Forever Graphics. So you guys know me for Lebo LLC. Well, guess what? I have a couple of other businesses you didn't know about. So I'm going to talk about that because we didn't have anybody else to present today. So Forever Graphics, never run out of graphics, no experience necessary. So I have a graphics design company and we're going to talk about that. Now, what is the problem? The problem is off-putting, badly designed and outdated graphics often demotivates prospects and decreases conversion rates. Look at these, these examples, very outdated, a little ugly, a little busy, right? We've seen them all over Facebook all the time and people honestly are just doing the best they can. You know, they're not graphic design artists, but what the good news is there are a lot of solutions today and we don't have to keep doing that okay so the solution is professional graphic design is much more accessible and that's what uh, forever graphics is is accessible graphic design without having to take risks with with uh, these different fiverr people and all of that is getting someone 
that's dedicated and locked into your brand that you can always go to for your style of branding. They have your brand profile. They have all of your stuff. They work very quickly. That's us. So what is this about? It's about presenting your best branding and image to the world to gain the respect of your prospects and peers while standing out in the marketplace. Okay, and that's what we all wanna do. And these are some examples of the different logos that we've done. So the goal of branding, this is a quote from me, is not to attack your competitor's product. It is to make yours more attractive. Now I work in sales and marketing, and I tell you that I see this on a weekly basis. I work with some of the biggest brands in the country Okay, sometimes in the world, and I see branding mistakes all the time. This weekend, I was working with Heineken, and they did very, very minimal branding, and they know better, but I just want, I, I try to reference these things to remind small business owners that big companies don't always do it right. They're not throwing as much money everywhere as you think they are, and sometimes they make mistakes, right? Okay. So here are some examples of our graphic design. I'll turn this around right here. So I have a book that's coming out called, What Are You Doing With Your Life? And uh, this is one of the, these are some of the mock-ups I had them make so that I could choose. I got this within like a few days, all of these were done. I submitted all four at the same time. Um, these are some flyer designs. And the reason why I'm showing you this variety is because the thing that makes us different from most graphic design companies or artists or solopreneurs, and I love solopreneurs, obviously that's why I'm here. But I have been hearing about all of these different business owners trying to support local graphic design artists and getting scammed, people running off with their money. And we, and not only that, they can only do their style of graphic design. Now, if you talk to a, gra a real graphic design artist, they're gonna say, I don't have a style. Whatever the customer wants, that's what I do, okay? That's our philosophy. We don't have a style. So as you can see, all of our graphics look completely different from one another. The, the thing I love about my company is that you give us any example, we will do it, period. No questions asked, as long as you're specific uh, you can do it. Now, this is a uh, social amethyst. This is another one of my companies, a social media management. And I just wanted to show an example of how this is the original logo on the left side that they created. And on the right side is the different variations. Why is that important to me is because as a marketer and, and in branding, we use our logos in different uh, backdrops and for different things. So we need different variations of our logo just so that we can use it in different ways. And um, this, is, this is what we do. We, we won't just create your logo, we'll create different styles and um, to make sure that you can use it in different ways. So here are our key features. 72 hour turnover. So our workflow is really, really good. Affordable pricing, um, most popular format. So if you need a JPEG, PNG, et cetera, et cetera, we have mostly, most of all the popular ones, dedicated uh, designer. Again, you won't have to go, like for instance, if you wanted to get, if you wanted to get some type of graphic design done, you could go to Fiverr, right? But if you want a different style that that graphic design artist does, you're gonna have to deal with a new person. You're gonna have to give them all of your branding assets and all of that. And you're going to have to get a different experience every time. With us, we'll, be, we'll have your brand profile no matter what you ask for, whether it's a logo, um, a presentation, or whatever. No matter what the style, we'll be able to do it. So you can keep using the same person and having the same experience. Now, these prices have not been advertised yet, but these are some of the prices for our graphic design. Okay. We can do, we can even do uh, children's books illustrations. So um, that's one of the things that I wanna take advantage of myself. Okay, and said I'm running out of time. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep going because I'm the only presenter today. So I'm gonna break, break my own rules. Okay, white labeling. That's another aspect of our company. Basically you can add graphic design services to your agency. So 
if you have a marketing agency, let's say you make websites or let's say that you do social media, you can scale your business by adding graphic design to make to uh, get passive income. You don't have to be a graphic design artist. Whatever they, your customer wants, if you're our customer, you send it to us, we'll handle it. And all you have to do is just tell us what they need. So if you are wanting to use our white labeling service, there's a monthly subscription. These are all of the things that you get in your, um, in your package. <clears throat> um, on the right side, you'll see a scale later. So that's basically like if you want to get a dedicated graphic design artist, that person works for you for like, you know, and only you for your agency, okay, for a month. This is how simple our process is. You select the package uh, for your subscription. You start submitting immediately your orders. Uh, we'll send you mock-ups and examples. You're just communicating with us. You like this, you wanna change that, blah, blah, blah. And then once we finally get to something you like, which usually happens really quickly, you just download your files. It's just that easy. Right now, I'm gonna offer a, a promo code 1MCFW25 for a 25% discount on any of our services. And this is my question. So um, usually we end every presentation with what can the community do for you? What I would like to ask the community is what do you think as a small business owner about our price point? Now I'm gonna go back to uh, that slide that showed our price points. And our price points are, you know, very strategic. They're based on um, mainly what, what the market value is right now. So it's a competitive, it's a very competitive price. You're gonna find similar prices, but we are gonna be on the more affordable end. And then we throw in taxes. So the taxes are included on that price. But now I'm gonna open the floor for anybody to ask questions and also um, give suggestions, feedback and, and answer my question. What do you think about our price points? Okay. Yes, so um, Alan, if you didn't hear him, he asked what are the price points? So for book covers, it's 437. Um, book covers usually start around 350. Uh, logos are 327. 75, they usually start, logos usually start on market uh, 300. Social media posts, now 30 social media posts. So what that means is like usually you'll have, like if you have a social media manager, they'll create your content, they'll create your, your copy that goes with it. But let's say you're like, you know, it's too expensive for me to get a social media manager. If I could just have someone make the graphics for me, I'll write the copy myself and I'll post my own stuff. Well, that's what that is for. 30 social media posts with your branding, you know, cust completely customized, 109. You can make that a subscription or you can just buy a pack, right? And again, you can have any type of design you want. So if you see something online you like, you see a brand you like, give it to us and we'll customize it. Uh, for flyers, it's 109.25. Uh, that's also the same. It's kind of like for flyers, starts at $50 um, in the market. And then for illustrations, it's case by case. And any graphic design artist will tell you that because it depends on the style you want and the amount of detail that goes into it. Okay. Hey, Lebeau, this is a great presentation. Thank you so much for doing this. I'm so intrigued by this. Um, I do think, um, but before I continue, Sarah, I'm gonna ask a question or make a point, And then if you could um, read out the questions in the chat, that would be helpful. So I do wanna say that, you know, I think this is awesome because so many business owners struggle with the graphics problem and you are providing a viable solution. Um, one of the things I do recommend so that you can get your part of the pie as well, I do think if you want to create, um, and I think you had a page where you had like buckets and there may have been a starter package. Was there a starter package on like one of those pages, Lebeau? Yeah, for the white labeling service. So if they're um, an agency that wants to white label, mm -hmm. there's packages, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. So here's what I would say, and that's for white labeling. But if you offer it like, let's say, a startup package, because <laughs> we're starting, we talk about startups. But let's say you offer a startup package that would include the logo, 30 social media posts, and it's like a bundle. That could also be beneficial for you as well. And the other thing I would say, because you hit on something when you talk about social media, and a lot of people, they may have time to post their social media, they may not. But if you offered like a social management um, add-on as well, yeah, that could be like a, another menu option too, because like the going rate for getting in a social media manager is X amount of dollars, but then the benefit that you provide is, hey, we can create your posts and also post them for you on a regular cadence. So let's say I'm totally making this up. So let's say for X amount of dollars, you could for $197, you will post to their LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter mm -hmm. accounts mm -hmm. and manage those for you. So that's a whole extra revenue stream that yeah. you can benefit from. So we have social amethyst. That's what social amethyst did, does. And so what I'm what my logic was, if someone comes to Forever Graphics and they're like, okay, we want social media management, then we will send them over to social amethyst. But if okay. somebody goes to social amethyst and they're like, I don't want management, I just want the graphics, then we will send them over to Forever Graphics. But that is a great idea to have a startup package. Like, you know, you know, that's a great idea. So you said logo, 30 posts, like social media posts. Anybody yeah. have any ideas on what yeah. good for yeah. a startup package? Maybe branding. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's what I was about to say. I think a good, a whole branding strategy so mm -hmm. that they can understand their brand identity. Yeah as well as their messaging, tone of mm -hmm. voice, the whole branding thing. Mm -hmm. And I love what Angela was saying with the logo and maybe the 30 post or something else, but definitely the branding mm -hmm. for sure. I think that's a good idea because whenever I came up with Forever Graphics, I wanted to mainly I love that. get a service, service for, um, for agency owners, right? Mm -hmm. But I was like, I kept seeing people asking social, I'm sorry, uh, entrepreneurs asking for graphics. And I'm like, if I have a graphic design company, why am I only marketing to other marketers? I could be missing, like leaving money on the table. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I uh, had to jump off. My mom called and she's 97. So whenever she calls, I stop everything I'm doing. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I missed the part about the social media posts. It's uh, 30, it's per month, correct? Yeah, 30 okay. social media posts, 109. It's, okay, so with those social media posts, are you specifically on just Facebook or Instagram? Or are you everywhere? Or do you, I know there's some, somehow you can kind of link them and then you post to one and it just goes out to all, to all, to all of the other ones. How does that work? Mm -hmm. So that, um, so for Forever Graphics, we'll just, if you want social media posts, we'll just create those social media posts. But, it, but if you want social media management, you have to yes. go to social amethyst. Now okay. with social amethyst, yes, we have tools that can post to whatever platform you're on simultaneously. Mm -hmm. And I think that, I think the benefit of bringing those two together as one packet, Lebo, it, it makes sense because that way they're seeing that they don't, they don't necessarily need to understand that they're two different companies, but it's, it's just the service you provide that combines both social media and uh, management also the posts. So that way um, they're in, it's one-stop shopping and for the lack of a better word. So, so Angela, let me, let me get this. Okay, so uh, you're saying the social media post, if they just want that, then that's right. separate. But if they want the management, bring those two together. Am I understanding correctly? 
because that's what I need. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> that was my recommendation. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of people probably like need it, make it. Make it like a, a add-on option. You know how when you go to Vista yeah. Prep, you know, they're giving you add-on options. I think that's good and automate the mm -hmm. whole thing. Alan, you had your hand, your hand raised. Go ahead. <laughs> We can't hear him. Okay, go ahead. Well, should I turn on the no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. They can hear you now. Um, yeah, if you want to do a startup package, I, I get the idea of having, you got Amethyst, which does the big picture, and individual pictures are done by uh, uh, Forever Graphics. Mm -hmm. And you, you can even say that as a feature. We you know, have our exclusive boutique, Forever Graphics, that does images for us. Can we please get Alan a little closer to the mic? It's kind of low. Can you guys hear it? I can get him closer to the mic. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I, um, so my thing to you is, if you want to start a startup package, mm -hmm. and I'll just look at you in the, in the reflection there. You keep moving. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to do a startup package, what I'll do is uh, uh, we can throw in some coaching for that too. Yeah. And I'll, I'll we'll, we'll work out the we'll, price we'll, later. But, we'll, but uh, yeah, let's let's do that. And um, yeah, that way you got the you know you get them a logo. You can get them some um, flyers if they need it. You can get them the post. Yeah, uh, and all because that. they and then might. Yeah. yeah, and then I can bring some other tools in there. It's tech stack to help them get their. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. That would be awesome. Yeah. So we'll we, get, we gotta media. we gotta have a meeting about that. <laughs> Um, I have a suggestion. Make sure that you reach out to Erica and tell her. Yes. Um, I have a suggestion. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I was thinking, what if, what if we like you can do like a collaboration between Social Amethyst and Forever Graphics, and say something like, if they take both your services, maybe they get like a little uh, discount, or something like that. So that way they can get all in one and like a better price, a better deal. Yeah, exactly. It's about the add-on value, Lebo, and creating a package just for that. I think that could be really, really good for your business. So yeah, I need to build something into the system where like if you're a social amethyst customer, that there is an offer to get a discount off of Forever Graphics, like for any additional stuff. Because for say, for instance, you are an author right and you need social media management but what if you need a new book cover right that doesn't come with your social media management but i can give you a discount for a book cover if you do for graphics and then you can also create a package just for book authors yeah i think you know, a bundle yeah if you think bundling and that's how you create that value added service and then the other thing I would say um, is you can also like to bring in like new clients, you can offer like a free marketing audit. And this audit is basically, you know, your team just looking at their branding, you know, social media, whatever, or their graphics um, and giving them like, hey, um, we'll give you we have the exclusive auditing service and we'll throw it in for free and we can show you how we can improve your services. And if you hire us, then here's what you will get. We'll, you'll get the benefit of us understanding your business, which we would have already audited your business, um, your marketing, your branding and, and, and graphics. And we will create this look and feel to elevate your company. Yes, yes. And that can be part of the startup package too, yeah. And then when I'm thinking of this, when you, when you get a startup mm -hmm. enrolled into your business and you have a startup package, I think you could offer them, let's say, um, every six months, how to make this up, making this up, but you would give them a branding consultation, mm -hmm. like a 30 minute branding consultation. And, you know, if you ever need me, uh, LeBeau, just, you know, text me or whatever, but I you know, do that for free. But I do think that the struggle with entrepreneurs and other marketers who are not at that phase where they have a million dollars to invest in marketing or $500,000 or whatever to invest in marketing yeah. is not just the tools, but it's also that business intelligence. Mm -hmm. 
and how to apply the right thing at the right point of their business. Because so many businesses, instead of running their own race, they're trying to do what everybody's doing. They're trying to do what Facebook is doing, trying to do what Netflix is doing, trying to do what you know Jane Doe is doing. But they got to understand you got to run your own race. And so you offering that 30, that 30 minute free business consultation or branding consultation can help them to see, okay, you know what, we can actually help you with this. Okay, but you got to figure out what works for you versus trying to do what everybody else is doing, because it's not a one size fit all type of thing when it comes to driving business and growth and branding. And that is that is true. And that's why I'm glad we have one million cups, because that business intelligence is is spot on i'm telling you there's a lot of talented people out here with great products and, and skill sets but that those you know that mindset that business mindset and those organizational skill sets and that critical thinking in terms of business you know some people don't have those advantages where they got to learn from those people and that's why we have to learn from each other mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is awesome. Thank you guys for all your wonderful advice. I have a this question. Is so good. Go ahead. So is there a schedule of how you present these services to clients? Because there's a lot of things that you can offer. And if you throw it all at them, yeah. you know, for you or other businesses, how do you kind of funnel them in to, you know, using all of these services yeah. that you offer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, ads, yeah. It would just be ads. Um, and what, once you get a client in and you're like, hey, here's your startup bundle, you know, it's like, okay, well, three months in, let me introduce this to them. And you keep them as long term clients. Because some people can get that startup bundle and then be out. What if you keep them pulled in so that they use all of your services over time? Do people? come up with plans for that to keep their clients like that? It's called upselling. Upselling and nurture stream. Mm -hmm. okay. This yep. is excellent at doing that because they have a lot of services and they're always telling you about them constantly. That's, that's their only problem. They need to adjust how much they market to people. Okay, you can just put it on mute. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go. So yes, uh, Lebeau, you're talking about you're talking about um, you know putting together packages like that, I mean, like your for the entrepreneurs one. And about two years ago, I think uh, I got you in front of the DFW Writers Workshop. The same idea didn't turn out a lot of business. Maybe one, I don't know. Maybe not even one. Uh, <laughs> but in two years, you know, from then since then, you've uh, kind of taken your your business to a whole nother level. Uh, over the last two years, and I and I have really appreciated the amazing growth that you've 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 uh, done, and uh, or become. And so anyway, um, they are starting to meet again in person, and they have authors. They've gotten they had five authors published last year, so a lot of people had uh, uh, books out. Somebody else did those covers, and I'd sure like to get them done here. So let's uh, let's uh, reapproach that group and. Um, and we'll work on the pricing and whatever we got to do. We can raise your price 10% and then knock 10% off for, for authors, whatever you want to do, you know. I love that. And I miss it's you, Marshall. Oh, thank you. Great. I love that. I miss idea. Angela's pre uh, introduction. Okay. I, I haven't. All right. So, before. oh, go ahead, Marshall. I was asking, I, I didn't get a chance to hear who Angela was, but she's apparently a legend and knows some things. So I just want to make yes. sure I have your contact information. Girl, I wish I was a legend. <laughs> Someone said you're a legend. legend. I'm trying to find out. Oh, maybe yeah. not. Legends are deceased, aren't they? <laughs> no, wait a minute. Living legend. You're a living legend. <laughs> no. Yes, that reminds me. Everybody drop your info into your LinkedIn and your websites and all that good stuff in okay all right well i appreciate so much all of these connections and resources somebody said on facebook the other day why don't we have business showers we always have baby showers what about business oh, good. where we put uh, resources together and, and everybody come and get feedback and advice and i said it's called one million cups <laughs> so while we're here 
bring your new business and we will shower you with good feedback, resources, and connections. Okay. Love that. <clears throat> so with that said, I always have a challenge. So last week's challenge was about, what does anybody remember? It was sales related. Does anybody yes, remember? we had to come up with like a 15, a 15 second uh, elevator pitch. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't it. Remember it was up sales. Identify your up sales. Identify at least three up sales, potential up sales you can do. And identify three different types of ways that you can sell them, right? Okay, now this week I have another challenge for you. Do you, and this is a question, you don't have to answer, but uh, if, if you do, you can. Do you have a style guide? Since we're talking about graphics, do you have a style guide? What is a style guide? It, it's your, all of your colors, the exact color codes for your brand, the exact fonts that you use for your brand, you have all of your logo assets, different variations of that. Um, do you have a style guide? If you don't have one, get one. Why? Because uh, it, first of all, if you're doing your marketing, your graphic design yourself, you need to have a style guide to make sure that all of your stuff is on, is on brand. But if you decide you wanna use a graphic design artist or a social media manager, that's the first thing they're gonna ask you for. Where's your style guide? So mm -hmm. make sure that you create one, settle on some colors, uh, settle on some fonts and bring some uniformity to your brand. It will take you to a, to a new level, okay? And Lebo, I was gonna say, you can add that on as an upsell too to your starter package. Yep, brand that's what I was thinking too when you said um, the branding um, mm -hmm. branding part. Okay, now we told you about Miss Kayla. What was her name? Kayla Okay, I just wanted to remind you if anybody has any, uh, you know, announcements, community announcements, raise your hand so we can tell everybody. But here's one. Another one from the Accelerate DFW, Justin Malone. Um, they're going to start um, August 6th from 8.30 a.m. to 9.30, uh, business law for business owners. And from what I understand is that if you have a, a law question or a legal question for your business, come and you can consult with these lawyers. I think that is so amazing. So all you have to do is show up and ask your questions. Uh, here's a topic they're gonna be specifically speaking on that day. They said, co-founders issues and opportunities, how to prevent potential issues before they start and how to make the most of the opportunities that come with having a co-founder. I think that's a really important area to talk about because how many of us have made a mistake and gone into business with a family member or friend? <laughs> How many of you are considering it and you really feel like it's a good idea? Um, I'm gonna tell you, my good friend, Cheryl Jenkins, she has been kind of like a person, I don't know, what, what do you call a guardian angel over my business? She saves me from myself. And like, she really schooled me on that type of stuff is, you know, co-founders and stuff like that. So it's a good idea because she schooled me. She schooled me because, you know, I was really naive and, and I didn't think about all of these things that come into play. So it's good to talk to people who have some legal background, right? Okay, so that is August 6, 8.30 a.m. Does anybody, and that's going to be here in this building. Does anybody else have any community announcements? I'm going to check the uh, chat. Okay, no community announcements. I'm uh, going to Dallas Startup Week. Anyone going to those events? Um, probably. I'm, I'm probably going to go to a few of the sessions. Anybody else going to Dallas Startup Week? Any of the <laughs> sessions? Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I just now shared some. It's just taking some time to actually look at who, what they're going to have. Mohammed, Mohammed, you going? There's some on Sunday yeah. I'm going to go to. Yes. 
That starts today? Sunday. Sunday, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Mohammed, what, what were you gonna say? No, I'm saying I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, okay. Um, so one other community announcement, it's not really a community announcement. Tomorrow, I have my podcast, LeBeau's Lessons. It's about leadership. Um, anybody that's in authority position uh, um, over a small group, uh, an organization, a department, whatever, this is a, a podcast specifically for those in, in authority figures, uh, positions. And uh, it's every Thursday at 11 uh, Central Standard Time. And tomorrow we're going to be talking about accountability. And Mohammed and I were discussing it the other day. We were talking about extreme ownership. And we're going to be talking about that extreme ownership over your um, department, your role, your business, your leadership position. How many times do we as leader blame the employees? We blame the people above us. What does extreme leadership or extreme ownership look like in leadership? We're gonna be talking about that tomorrow. 11 a.m. Central Standard Time is on Anchor FM. It's on Spotify and a few other places. They're, they're always saying they're adding more places that they're distributing it to. So I don't even know where, where else is it. But um, we are also gonna do it live on my Facebook page. So we're gonna be in the office that day, um, Lebo LLC on Facebook. Um, let's see, any other thing? I think I got to it all. Anybody else have any comments, questions, concerns, or any good news to share, share any wins this week? Any wins, wins of the week? <laughs> Wow, this is getting sad. <laughs> I've been asking well, that question for three weeks. Um, well, not necessarily, um, not a current, current win, but it's in process. Um, my company, we have a, like a cross promotional partnership with a business here in town. And we're planning on an in-person event where the app me will be present and kind of doing promotional codes, encouraging people to come in and just seeing kind of like a testing ground if our reach to our clients is gonna pull business into the smaller business and see if there's any effects, they're kind of testing it out, what yeah, it's like to yeah. partner with people. That so, is yeah. yeah, so get Good Eyes is partnering with Snow Baby. And um, yeah, I'll post some stuff about it, but we're out there. All right, good for you. Let us know how it turns out. And you're right, everything is a test. Everything yeah. is a concept until it's tested. Yeah. Right. So just, so, test, just test and learn from the data you get. Yeah, getting it out there. So just kind of finding some, some low hanging fruit, but just looking at the benefits of how, you know, my app and the reach that we're, you know, pushing for, you know, can help other businesses and, and connect with them. I call it, you know, cross promotional, whatever, but um, just kind of having a plan in place to yeah. make it easier when businesses want to partner with us and seeing how that goes. And then, you know, furthering our reach so that we have to actually have leverage. So if I want to approach a larger company, I can say, hey, this is what we're able to do here. You know, what can we work on? And maybe they'll give us some money for it. will be ideal. Awesome. Well, we wish you the best with that. And you guys continue to share about One Million Cups. I believe that all of you are sharing with your friends and family that, that have small businesses and I know that you know some of those folks that are just like, oh, that's not for me. Like they see you come into One Million Cups, but they don't feel like it's for them. Keep at it, keep reminding them because you know that they need that additional support. So keep encouraging people uh, to come have their business shower with us and yeah. let them know that they can come and uh, pr present their business, okay? I'm getting my presentation ready at some point. I'll, I'll do it. There you go. We are waiting for you. All right. Perfect. All right. Well, you guys have a great rest of your week. I hope you have some wins this week. Bye. Stay Thank safe. You.